Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lab Rats, where we test it so you don't have to. As always, I'm Humble. And I'm RMB. And today, we got a heater for you. Uh, the deck I'm playing today is Amber Emerald Miracles, as I like to call it. Uh, Keanu. On screen, you'll see my deck list. Uh, there's a few things that a lot of people probably will, will be averted to in the beginning. Uh, the first one is there's no copies of the, uh, the One Drop Kita. I've opted to just go none of that card, not even worrying about the shift line. Uh, the Kita has been arguably the worst card in the deck in every iteration I've tried it. So uh, we're, we're trying it just with no Kitas. We, we bumped the shifted Kita line up to four just to make sure we always have access to a way to um, negative the opponent's board state. So like the under the sea gets everything. Uh, we have a little spice further down the list. Uh, for, since it's Shimmering Skies meta, we have four copies of Hypnotic Reduction, which if you've played Magic the Gathering before, it's just Brainstorm and we like that. And the reason I'm referring to this deck as Miracles are two copies of Mulan from set two. You get to put two songs back on top of the deck and then quest and then do it for free. Seems real fair. It's real great. We also have a couple copies of You're Welcome just as a catch-all. Sometimes it helps us draw cards. Sometimes it removes a big threat. Uh, but all in all, for the most part, the only really new additions we got was Hypnotic Reduction. Um, I'm really happy to excited to play this deck. Let's see how this goes. And uh, Keanu, um... Today, I'll be piloting some Steel Song, and I'm super excited for Shimmering Skies because I think we've got a couple of cards that I'm, I'm really, really excited to test out, the first of which being Daisy Duck. Uh, I know Daisy Duck is the date of Donald that everyone wishes didn't happen. Uh, the card just says, uh, force your opponent to draw a card off the top of their deck or put a relevant song on the bottom of their deck, and then you just get to sing a whole new world and say, Man, uh, be a shame if you just drew a card and then lost it for nothing. Um, we've also opted for more of a little bit of an aggressive package in this list. We've got both Daisy and the Piglet, um, as well as the Smee, to give us you know a couple of options in the two to one slot to be a little bit more aggressive against some of the slower decks of the format. Um, one of my favorite cards from Shimmering Skies is actually Pete Games Referee. Uh, this card has been bonkers, uh, especially in the Mirror Match. Uh, I had, uh, I've had some games where I've just been able to cast back-to-back Pete's uh, and just turn these little little duders sideways every single turn uh, with my Steel Song opponent just, like, not being able to Steel Song. They're just, like, Steel and, like, Amber, but no Song. Yeah, yeah. Turn, turns out, like, the, the more cards get printed, the more I, I want to, I kind of want to play Steel. Yeah, yeah, you definitely should. Um, and then rounding it out, we've got Naveen, which Naveen Ukulele Player has been such an incredible, incredible addition of this deck. Uh, anytime something says free, uh, I am 100% ready to test and try it out. Uh, for the rest of the deck, it looks pretty standard. You know, we've got your Aerials, we've got your Cinderella's, your Robin Hood Shift line, the, uh, the Vanessa's, as I like to call her. Uh, Rapunzel, I do have two copies of the Shift line for Cinderella because, you know, Prince John's and Muses and things like that exist in this current format. Uh, I'm only running two copies of Bare Necessities just because it has been one of the weaker cards in testing. Uh, I do have a spicy fun of one of World's Greatest Criminal Mind. Uh, I have uh, been losing to some Mufasas lately and uh, <laughs> would like to have an answer for it. And then we're just rounding out the Steel Package with a uh, all the songs that you would expect to see in a Steel song. Yeah, I think list. the only thing that I would change if I played this deck was like, I would I would probably max up on, on Bare Necessities. I know it doesn't make sense to Bare Necessities and then wheel, um, but like I want to wheel after, I want to Bare Necessities after the wheel. And the, Sometimes. Uh, the best way for me to maximize, to, to actually get to that point is to maximize on copies of Bare Necessities because it's just the law of numbers, right? Like you're going to hit it after the wheel more than you're not, uh, uh, depending on how many copies are in the deck. Listen to this guy, the guy who's allergic to steel, trying to tell me how to play steel song. Hey man, I'm I'm okay at playing discard, and that card says discard a card, so. Let's see how these lines work. Okay. Round one, fight. All right, so like we've got some stuff here. We've got some interesting things. Um, we're definitely gonna be keeping this. We're probably keeping this. There's a chance we're probably keeping this. Uh, I don't think we're keeping either of these. 
just because we don't have the other pieces. Uh, there's some like consideration to keeping this, but the downside is is that if you keep this and you put this on your you put this as your plan, you end up having to like forego doing a lot of things because you need to hit five ink. So I think I'm actually like okay just getting rid of both of these. Like, there's a chance we also keep this because it is still inkable. But I want to give our aerials as many opportunities to hit as possible. So I think I actually am gonna mulligan four. Ah, yes, this is a hand for the ages. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Start off the bat, we have a couple cards we don't want to see in the opener, three, these three being uh, being the big ones. Uh, there is some, like these four cards are great. I want to keep this because we have a, a sweet combo. So you go turn three, turn four. Um, <laughs> obviously, we have the Ursula to sing this. So we can do like Ursula on two, this on three, sing this. The debate is keeping the aerial or not. The aerial kind of unlocks the ability for their removal pieces to be better. Uh, but I think this card is just too good to not not see right now. At worst case scenario, depending on what we draw, could be ink. I think this isn't where we want to be. I think we want to just go for the hand control package. Yeah. So we're going to mulligan four cards. Uh, not the best opener, but not the worst either. We have a lot of cards. Like, we have a plan, which is nice. Alright, we will ink a strength and play a daisy. Ooh. Draw. We're going to ink a Diablo, play Diablo. Let's get a look at your hand. We got a bear, two storm, Cindy, Rapunzel. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, let's start with a little questy questers. Mm. You, you have forgotten me to the bottom. That's not what I want to see. Uh, we will ink a Cinderella and play a Cinderella. Okay. And send it back. Cool draw. Oh. So because he has one of these in his hand, I kind of want to take it. His hand is also a little weak. It's a lot of weak. We're going to ink a We Don't Talk About Bruno. Love to see that. And we're going to go ahead and fire off a bare necessity of our, of our own. So we have some options. We could take uh, the inkable card just to kind of tax his ink. Uh, he does have the ability to do both of these, and the card draw might matter. But I think our hand is probably a little weak to interaction, so we're going to take the Bare Necessities. And then this is likely going to meet its uh, fate, so I will just quest for one. And I'll pass. Well, ready, set, draw. Uh, so I think we're going to start with a card draw. Uh, we'll deal two to the Diablo. Draw ourselves another little cardy card. <laughs> uh, well, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to ink our Rapunzel. And uh, I do just want to like keep card draw going. So I am going to let the Storm Rage on my own Daisy Duck to draw another card. Uh, we'll quest for two, trigger Daisy. Quick, he goes to hand. Okay, and then we'll send it back. So him Storm Rage awning his own Daisy kind of signifies he does have another Rapunzel. No, it doesn't. It signifies I need inkable cards. You took my inkable card, dog. I am going to ink the Cricky. So we have a couple options. Like, we can kind of hope the top of the deck is fire and just go ahead and uh, play this out. We can also do this, which is a card I'm really hyped for. Uh, but I think I am just gonna, because like the only he can't sing "Grab Your Swords" yet, so I think I am just gonna get this on the board, it's just so good. I can draw some extra cards and in, in the event that he wheels. That's your turn. I think I'm a little far away from wheeling. All right, so we will ink a world's greatest. Is it tap for ink play Rapunzel? Wow! It wow, is. Wow, I'm so smart. It is. We'll draw two. Yep. All right, um, 
We're going to start with questing for Daisy, Ursula, Ursula to end. Mind. I don't think there's any punish here, so I think we can actually quest for another one mm -hmm. and send it back. Okay, draw. That is not bad. We are kind of low on optimal play lines right now. Like, our hand is very weak, so we're going to start with a Hypnotic Deduction. We're going to draw three cards. Rainstorm! And I'm going to put back two... And it is likely these two. How does it feel casting Brainstorm on Lorcana? Oh, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that felt really good. <laughs> I am gonna ink an Ursula. I wanna draw three cards. And play an Ursula. Now, we could do this. He has four cards in hand, and I think we have to kind of hold on this. Um, I don't like this card. Uh, card's not good. This card is the bane of my existence right now, but uh, we kind of don't have any way around it, so we are just gonna pass the turn. I mean, I'm just going to lose to a single under the sea, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, like, I haven't found one, so... These cards are cards. Um, We'll start... We'll see what the top of his deck looks like. We'll quest for two. Bruno. Love to see that. Uh, We'll quest for another two, go to 11. Uh, we will ink a Robin Hood, and we're going to play a Robin Hood. It's pretty good. And we'll send it back. Draw. Okay, so that's unfortunately not where I need to be. You have three cards in hand? Three. Trace Amigos. Let me keep them all. I don't want to get rid of any of them. I'm going to ink Lost in the Woods. So we're gonna we're just going to do a Forgot Me first. Sure. Uh, get some card draw. Uh, Zeus, Robin Hood. Draw two cards. Those are good ones. This is probably... Just, uh, let them chill. Ariel. Draw a card. I think it's... It's really annoying. You know, you're welcome and give me two more cards? I'm going to welcome and give me two cards. Oh. I think I have to do that. And the card that is e is harder to interact with is this, but he has a Robin Hood. So I think I want to I want to put two, I want him to put two things into this. So we're going to spin back the Prince John and I'm going to draw two cards because my hand was that weak. Okay. I also messed up when I put those two songs on the top of my deck. Uh, I'll draw two cards. All right, and it's fortunately your turn. Well, we're always questing here, so we're going to start here. Yeah, was my That's a scary one. Uh, we will stack a damage here and take it out with Robin Hood. There's not three damage there. There is one. Uh, we're going to play a Rapunzel... Targeting our yeah. Cinderella to draw one. And then we'll quest for two, go to 15. And from this position, I don't think there's a way that we can kind of come back. Uh, we were at 11 at the start of this turn. We gained two, four, yeah. four six, so we should be at 17. Yeah. Draw a card. Yeah, that doesn't do it. Unironically, the daisy bottoming the uh, You Have Forgot Me was not good for us. Uh, I think, like, you had to just, like, you're welcome the Daisy Robin Hood. Uh, no, well, I also could have crickied and cleared the Daisy, but then that wouldn't have left me any, like, you would have kept the, the Robin Hood and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. Round two, fight. All right, this is pretty good. Uh, we don't want to, I don't think we want to see, we definitely don't want to see this in the opener. That's something we need to find later. Uh, kind of the same thing. With this, I feel like we're going to go hyper negative to get this out and it's just going to be removed. We're going to we're gonna just ship back one. Just one? Yeah, just one. I don't like I kinda, that. I kind of need everything. Oh, that's a good card. Our hand's super weird. It's trying to do two different things here. It's, 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 it's real. This is real weird. Um, like, we're definitely keeping this every time. There's a chance we're probably keeping this. And then, like, the consideration is whether or not we're keeping this. Uh, like, I like keeping it because it's inkable. It's also, if you find the shift line, it's really, really good. On the, on the draw, I don't think I want this. I also don't think I really want this for this matchup specifically. And, like, this is redundant. This card's, like, pretty good, but I think I am going to keep this and hand alter for...
You're starting us off. Yeah. And as for as much as I like this card, I think it has to probably be the ink this turn. Getting rid of this last game kind of kind of bit us. Like there are cool interactions if these things survive, but one of these is getting inked and one of them is getting pitched, so it's probably just ink hypnotic deduction and let's take a gander at that hand. I like none of those things. Yeah, that was a kind of crazy mulligan. Uh, like our mulligan picked this up. Yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate, but it's your turn. That gives us a little bit more knowledge. Makes me okay with the with the lines that we're taking. Also makes a card like this be uh, more relevant, inkable. Play Cindy. Send okay. it back. I will draw. We're also just never getting to this in time. So we're going to start by pitching to shift. Sure. Ink Akita. Should I quest for one? And I'll pass. Uh, ready. Draw. I will also draw. We will sing a bare necessities. Oh. You get a, you have forgotten me. We'll take it. This is gone. Like, the Alpha Chad in me wants to play both of these, but I don't think we can warrant it. I think we just have to play one. And hold the other one for ink, just in case. We'll send it back. We're gonna draw. That's a cool one. So I know the contents of his hand. He's likely going to grab your swords me next turn. So I, I kind of can't play this, which is unfortunate because I want to play this. But I think we're going to ink the Mulan, play Ariel. That's a good one. Ooh, that is a very good one. And now we're going to sing Bare Necessities. And we're going to take... The Grab Your Swords. Honestly? No, I think we take the wheel. Really? Yeah, because this survives the Grab Your Swords, and like I still have this. Sure. Uh, go ahead. I'll draw a card. Uh, so it's definitely a good thing we didn't get greedy last turn. So we will... Ink the hood. Yep, we have to shift and we have to do this because we just get blown out by the uh, You Have Forgotten Me. Leaves us with one card in hand. I don't know if he's playing Rapunzel's or not. If he's playing Rapunzel's, then I just lose my Cinderella. If he heals it, draws two. Which I don't think I can I don't think I can take that risk. I think we just send it back. I'm gonna draw. So we are gonna go ahead and send out Prince John. I'm gonna ink the Ursula. And I'll just pass. That's a pretty good card. Ariel. Sure. Uh, one, two, three, four. How many cards do you have on two? Dos. Dos Equis? That is a good one. It's not too shabby. Uh, we will, in fact, sing it. Okay. We'll be discarding one. Uh, I'll be drawing eight cards then. Sure. Uh, that is seven. So we will use Cinderella to sing Storm on Ariel. Uh, draw a card. Ink a piglet. And play a daisy. Sure. And send it back to you. Draw a card. Cards again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That is a million. And five enough. cards. I just wheeled. We're gonna take a peek. Okay. Uh, Ursula. Two Naveen's piglet grab. I'm gonna Ursula. Take the grab. Draw a card. Don't think we're ever getting to this uh, to do this in a reasonable time, so do that. And we will just fire off a sudden chill. Uh, I'll get rid of a Naveen. And I'll draw a card. And I think I'll just pass it back. So we'll start with a Daisy. Another deduction goes to the bottom. Bye, have a great time. Uh, none of these, like, challenge very effectively, which I kind of like. I think I'm actually just going to quest four. Sure. One, two, three, four. 
We'll ink an Ursula and we'll play Piglet's Me. Sure. So we'll send it back. We're probably going to get got by an Under the Sea, which is going to feel really bad. Well, if you count, uh, three, four, five, six, can't sing it yet. Yeah, but if you like shifted this, then it sings. Uh, do you think I have the luck for that? I would hope so. I do not. Uh, oh. But I will play this. Oh, that's that's not that's not great. Maybe we can get there. Uh, sudden chill. Your last card. It is the second Naveen. Yeah, sure. These draw two cards. So I unfortunately can't commit to this. I think we just get rid of this for ink. Uh, that's a lot. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. That put me at seventeen. It's gonna have to be good enough. Go ahead. Uh, we need a piece of removal. Yeah, dealing with the aerial was uh, really good. Uh, removal. Not removal. Well, love to hear that. Quest for two, trigger. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go to 17. We're like damned if we do, damned if we don't with this card. It's like, we play it, it gets under the seed. We don't play it, it gets discarded and you draw two. So like, I think I'd rather it on the bottom of my deck than sure. give you two additional cards. Uh, draw. So we are going to play the Kita. Yep. Uh, six, seven, eight, sing under the sea. I guess I get to choose the order Quest of Quest for one. I don't think it matters. Uh, no cards in hand, which is kind of cool. No cards is kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I think we just need pressure, so I will just deploy another Diablo. And pass it back. Uh, we'll do, sir. Sure. sure. Say go. Pretty good. Play Ariel. I'll take your welcome. Send it everything to on a quest. Four, five, six, seven. I'm actually going to go ahead and ink this Kita. And deploy a muses and pass. Ursula. Sure. There you go. Uh, draw a card. Play a third Prince John. She can just sing. We don't talk about Bruno. And I'll draw three cards off of the Prince John triggers. I also have a muses trigger. And I'll put the aerial back in my hands. So which I'll just play another aerial. I'll get this bare necessities. This is fair and balanced gaming over here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, quest for two, four, eight. five, six, seven, eight. I'll just pass. Ah. Ooh. Lose game. Game three. Game three indeed. Round three. Fight. So, um, this is a pretty weird hand. Uh, I don't think we want this. I like keeping these. I like keeping this because it's inkable. I kind of want to get rid of both of these as well. Like, it could be incorrect. But we are playing against a discard variant, so I kind of want to, like, increase my odds of top decking this card and not having it just rot in my hand. I think I'm going to keep these four here and send back three. Uh, three. Those are, like, reasonable cards. All right, so looking at our hand, we have some stuff we, we like and also kind of don't like, like, we like this normally, uh, but in this matchup specifically, I think it's a little bit worse because these have the uh, having two willpower, like it's not going to survive. I do like having having this to just kind of like look to see what we're dealing with because like information is key. 
So I do think I'm going to get rid of both of these and that. Uh, it may or may not be correct to keep this. We can do this on turn two, which is very good against their deck. So it is just get rid of these three cards. Those are three kind of good ones. I don't like that. I do. I like it a lot, actually. I'm going to start by inking a Cindy and playing a Daisy. That's a good one. She's I. Right. I'll draw. I'll start by inking a Diablo, playing a Diablo. Let's see what you got going on over there. Uh, strength. Grab. Ooh. Punzel, Cindy, Ariel. No me gusta on any of those. Go ahead. Uh, let's see what you got on that top. That's, That's not good. That's... I don't like that. I like that. Oh. I like this a lot. I don't. That's bad. I'll ink a Robin and play a city. And send it back. Draw for turn. All right, well... I think this might be too slow. Gonna ink the muses. We're gonna hit you with the bare necessities. Okay. Don't think I care too much about you strengthening this thing, so I will just give it to the grab. Pretty good. So another hand. This is like this, this is it's probably gonna die. So I might as well just get the get some value with it. Uh, go ahead. All right, we are going to ink the SME mm -hmm. and play our aerial. Yep. Get a little peeky peeky peek. Those are cards. And that's not something we like to see. So we will strength and then we'll quest for two trigger. Say go. Draw. Well, we're not getting to that anytime soon, especially because of an impending a whole new world. A whole new world. Play Prince Strong. Pass the turn. Alright, we will draw. Uh, we will quest with Daisy. Diablo to hand. Uh, we'll ink the Rapunzel, fire off a whole new world, discarding one. Uh, five, six, seven, and then French draw trigger. Well, this is interesting. This is gone. Wow, this is such an awkward hand. It's so many, there's so many, so many room for activities. So many activities! It's making my head spin. Oh, don't, don't like that. <laughs> We're gonna uh, play another aerial. It's pretty good. Alright, we will find a strength. And finally, we will end on a Robin Hood. And send it back. We'll draw. So let's start the turn with a bare necessities. All right. We got Zeus, Whole New World, Strength, Naveen, Cindy, Ursula. Yeah, well, a Whole New World uh, is gone forever. Uh, we'll draw a card off of Prince John. I think this muses. Yeah, Johnny, living dog. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's just I, have two more bare necessities. I think I have to commit this. I do not. Uh, I mean, do I have to commit that? I could try to find it. That would be cool. So I think I have to just kind of hypnotic deduction and hope it's worth it. Mm. Mm. 
I'm kind of, I can tuck these away, which is kind of cool, but I'm not sure it's surviving. Cause I know he has the shift line, so I kind of need him to do it. So I'll just pass the turn. Kind of take my lumps on this. Question is, is how I want to do it. Um, I am, however, worried about Ursula's, so I think I'm going to ink a strength. We're going to shift the Cindy. Uh, use Ariel to sing a Zeus on my own Cinderella? Sure. And then I'll banish your John? Yep. Uh, and then I'll quest for four. Diablo on top. Uh, how do I go back? Make it, make it, there we go. One, two, three, four. And you drew Little Diablo or Big Diablo? Little Diablo. Okay. And we'll send it back. I'll have a draw. So, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so we're going to start with a Diablo. Naveen, Piglet, Ursula. Right, so nothing back-breaking yet. I'm going to Ursula. Or Ariel? Ariel. Take a little peeky peek. Yep. So getting this means does nothing because he has nothing in his hand for me to take. So I'll just get, you're welcome. You're welcome. And then I'll just ink the Ursula and pass. And let's uh, knock the top of the deck and hope, hope he doesn't defeat me. Let's see here. That uh, doesn't do anything. I guess we'll start with Daisy Trigger. Uh, I think we're just like at the point where we just turn stuff sideways. Four, five, six. Go to 17. Uh, yeah, that's six, 17. Uh, I guess we try to like minimize the damage from shift. So we'll just play a Naveen. And... I don't think we need to overcommit because these two will still survive. He would need Kita plus shift. Yeah, I think that's how we play this when we pass. Sure. So you need Kita shift right. sing. So we're going to shift. We're going to ink. We're going to play. Actually, do we need? Oh, we don't need to ink. I thought I had four, and we're gonna sing. Uh, this might indicate stabilization. I'm just gonna pass. I'll draw a card. Those are good ones. And send it back. You have one card in hand? Yeah, just one. Well, you'll never believe me. You just have a second one? Must be nice. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool, actually. Oh, these are untapped. Um, I'm going to quest for two. I'll sing Lost. Oh, Ink Lost in the Woods. Play Ariel. Draw last. Nope. Huh? Draw last. What do you mean? Ariel. Before doing all the other stuff, you just draw last. Did I draw cards first? Huh? You should. I always draw cards first. How am I drawing cards? Ariel is essentially draw. Yeah. Huh. It whiffed anyway. Yeah. <laughs> all victories go, go ahead <laughs> uh, draw a card sure you would have been nice last turn never gonna believe this but you get to draw another card love it piggy sure uh, how many cards you got in 
a billion. I have five. Probably just incorrect. I'd probably just play the Smee and Ink the Piglet. Okay. I can't leave hand cards in my hand at this point in the game. Nope. Uh, you're welcome. I already know what's going to happen. And uh, I'm, like so already, I'm already so disappointed. Is this like a forced ability too? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's silly. I don't even like it here anymore. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. Why don't you just put those in those card pile? Yeah. I'll draw two cards. Oh. Ink those bare necessities. Play this. Quest for five. Go ahead. I now know how you felt playing against this deck with uh, mm, yes. Ruby Sapphire, because this is negative fun. Draw. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Oh, Bruno. Yeah, I would I would like to concede. No? Yeah. Can I please just win the game normally? You're gonna win? What do you mean? You just quest for <laughs> seven, go to 15, and then... Yeah. You quest for I another... I would like to draw my cards, Another seven next turn. I'm being uh, bullied. You are being bullied. This is for all the time. This is where you did it to me. Uh, seven. Uh, go. Draw a card. Oh, that's a pretty good one. I can't do anything with it. Ah, oh, yes. Cards. Play two daisies. Oh, man, I'm dead. Uh, draw. Proceed to lose the game. Yeah, proceed to quest and win. Oh, man. Back to back under the sea turns. Like, I intentionally, like, played around it, gave myself, like, the three bodies to be able to, like, get the effect off a of piglet and just, like, getting hit with the second one was oh. backbreaking. Oh, God, that felt good. Did you enjoy your time under the sea? I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I, I'm actually drowning right now. Uh, uh, I cannot breathe underwater. I'm not. Your boy's feasting. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, uh, I know that the crown is probably heavy on your head since it's been on there for a few episodes now. However, Keanu... Oh, yeah. Oh. Let me go put this over here. Oh, here we go. I'm waiting. I can't. Oh, yes. <laughs> the power. It's been a while. Crown is back where it belongs. But yeah, the, those games went oddly not the way I expected, but also the way I expected, which is weird. Yeah, I think there's a lot of agency between the two decks. I think that they interact with each other really, really well. Like, there's definitely going to be some lines that Steel Song is going to have that, like, when they're on the play, you're just not going to, like, keep anything in play ever. Yeah. But, like, there's equally going to be lines when, like, Steel Song just doesn't have any cards in their hand to, like, yeah. play the game. So, like, game three, crucially, like, I was kind of having to put myself on hope you don't have a way to remove my aerial. Because I had to set up a situation where I could play Diablo, play the aerial, be able to shift the Diablo to have eight so I could wipe your board. Uh, if you had any point of interaction, I was, I just could not do that. Yeah. And then if, you, if the top of your deck was anything relevant... In, in terms of it removing wasn't. something, I wouldn't be able to do anything either. And it wasn't. Turns out uh, I was the favorite today. Let's not even, like, call it anything it isn't. It was under the sea, into under the sea on, like, back-to-back -back lethals that, like, yeah, if, if that ever happens, like... Yeah, so so game, game one was definitely uh, an interaction I had not thought of previously was uh, the hypnotic deduction. Um, normally when I cast that card, I'm not really looking at my opponent's board i'm just trying to set up the things that i want to be like draw into and then i realized that my opponent had a daisy uh that didn't feel good because yeah, he just bottomed the songs that i wanted to see you could have turned you could have turned brainstorm into ancestral recall and just been like draw three uh <laughs> yeah yeah and like moving forward like now that i have i'm not i've, I've cognizant of that line uh, it's definitely something to remember especially in a matchup like this or any any matchup where it's this deck versus a daisy uh you could just make the daisy work for you which is pretty cool Additionally, being able to just one-sided be prepared your opponent with like a really cool three-card combo is definitely something that's up my alley specifically, which is one of the reasons like it's this deck and Blueberries is the, the two decks that I'm like real hyped for. Yeah, I don't know that I'm like hyped for anything specific. Uh, I feel like Steel Song is doing one of the most powerful things in the format currently. I'm sorry, it's a search of power. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Like <laughs> I can't win every every time. Like then, yeah, yeah, yeah. then this would just, like my head would. I'd have a permanent ring around my head. I was already starting to get there. Yeah, well, don't worry. Uh, it's it's going to sit here for a while, hopefully. Uh, I had negative fun playing against Under the Sea. Combo. I had all the fun. Yeah. It was 
immaculate. If you have the opportunity to play this, you should. It's so fun. But also, don't play it against me because I don't want to play against it. So that would be, that'd be cool. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, down in the description below, you see all the Labyrinth TCG things where you can find our Discord, participate in some community nights that we've been having recently, which has been pretty cool. Yeah. Well, we'll, uh, we'll kind of do like a mini lab rat session. We'll test with you in, a, in open play. But I know both RMB and myself has been in there testing a few decks, getting a couple reps in against the community. Now, we also have coaching services, merchandise. Everything would be in the description down below. As always, we love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in.